Hi, me, my name is Franco Sancho. <clears throat> I'm a lecturer in marketing research, qualitative marketing research in the University of Alicante. And we are going to see practice 5.1 that is called marketing research examples in Atlas TI. We are going to see some examples. The idea of this practice is to uh, look at uh, other studies different, uh, in different fields uh, uh, than we are doing in class. Remember that in, in our class, we are doing a marketing research uh, a study to analyze uh, uh, customer experience by using the idea of customer journey map and other different approaches. So in this case, we are going to see, we are going to, I'm going to try to explain you how to read and how to find useful information in other studies. The first one we are going to see is called food safety practices and managers perceptions a qualitative study in hospitality. So in this case, uh, this study is done in, in, the, in the US, in the US, United States of America. And we see that we are going to see the different elements that uh, are explained in the study. So the first thing is to start to, to see the, to look at the aim of the study. And it says, it says, this study aims to a certain manager's perspective using two methods of data analysis to answer the, the question. And, in this case, the, the, the aim or the goal of the study or the purpose is stated in a way, in the, in the, the way of uh, doing a question. What would make managers more effective in the role of assuring safe food practices are, uh, assuring um, safe food practices are followed in the workplace? And they say they use focus group with current and future food service managers to uh, gather the information and Atlas TI to uh, complement this analysis. So let's go into continue with the study. The first thing they do is to make an, a brief introduction and to analyze the way uh, the different variables they, they want to analyze have been studied in the past. In this case, in the first section, they study or they comment or well, things related to the importance of food, food safety. Um, Secondly, they uh, study food service workers and food safety. And uh, they, found, they have found an interesting study from the US Food and Drug Administration, uh, where they uh, highlighted the, the top five factors contributing to food, food bone illness, such as poor personal hygiene, food from unsafe sources, contaminated equipment, improper holding temperature and inadequate cooking. So these things maybe they are used uh, in, in the, throughout the study to uh, create the, the codes, the codes we are going to use to classify the information. Apart from that, they analyze another element that is manager's role and food, food safety culture. And when, when they have finished all the literature review, they go to the methodological part. That is where we are going to focus. Add. They say that they use focus groups with current and future food service managers. So this is the target group, uh, food service managers, and they conducted this to analyze the manager's perspective regarding the role and reasons for employees and safe food handling practices. So they are going to be asked about how their employees uh, manage food in this case. And there, there, there is more information here regarding the place where where they have gathered the information. They say, focus group were held in two different states by researchers from two universities, hospitality programs, and they give more information. The study was approved by the Institutional Review Board of the universities, okay? This is something regarding to, uh, regarding to ethics in, in, in the study. And they explained that they, they used or they had a moderator. Each focus group was led by an experienced moderator and also assisted with an experienced ass uh, assistant moderator. So given that it, was a, it is a complex uh, field work, they used two moderators, one that is more experienced and the other one that is more less experienced. They also say that focus group were uh, audio recorded and transcribed to facilitate data analysis in the same way we have done in class. The focus group recording was transcribed by hard experienced trans transcriptionists, in our case, 
you have done it, and they give some detail regarding the transcription. After an independent review, members of the research team reach 100% of agreement on teams and related codes. So they revise these uh, this, um, transcriptions and they did some modification. They also talk about the analysis in Atlas TI. Um, and they say, using uh, each of the focus group was used as a primary document of analysis because Atlas T uses the different terminology. And they say, after the document was coded, that they uh, find found the different quotes and after, afterward they classify the quotes into codes, uh, codes were coded into families of codes as we have done in class. We have codes in the first level and family of codes in the second level. And in the, regarding the result, they say, a total of 28 themes, thematic 10 themes, were identified with hand coding. Three of these themes were related to manager's role and the remaining were related to manager effectiveness in these roles. So they explain a little bit. Participants voiced the need to, and, and this is interesting. Here they summarize in some way the number of uh, codes, families, and so on. In this point, I would recommend before going to the detail, I would recommend to put, as we do in class, a, a table that summarizes the textual analysis. That means all the different quotes that you have highlighted, as well as the memos. And also, before going on, I would put the or include the code book, the code book to analyze the different codes and families before, and also to give an idea of the number, the frequency, absolute and, um, and relative frequency derived from the uh, conceptual analysis, the previous video. So they haven't done it, but we can do it. Once they have done this, what they do is to highlight ideas. Remember, that when we are doing a study, if we have a code, this code includes a lot of uh, quotes, a lot of sentences inside. So what they have done is to put the important ideas that come from, that uh, derive from the study and put examples, as you see. Idea, examples, idea, examples. This is a, one way of presenting the information. As you see, they have uh, spent the rest of the, of the, of the section doing this, giving examples, specific examples. And now they go to the major categories. This is what we say, maybe the family of codes. They have codes, they have families. Following the preliminary term identification, researchers group hand coded terms into categories, code families, and lab label them consistent with the, with the terms included in each category and the quotations included in, in each team. So what they are doing is creating code categories, code families, sorry. And these are the different things, food safety, safety training, predisposition, whatever. In our case, for example, these would be, for example, the levels, the transactional, the experiential, the relational, or would be, for example, the customer journey map uh, steps before, during, and after, for example. Once they have done this, they have categorized what they do is a visual diagram. Atlas TI, this is what we are going to see in, uh, in the next uh, practice, in practice number six, organizational level, the analysis within organizational level. Atlas TI allows creating a visual diagram of relationship between the different codes and family of codes. This is what they have done here. It, it, seem, it seems a little bit complex, it is, but they have explained the different relationships they state. I'm going to uh, rotate the, the, the screen so you can see better what is a visual dia diagram in Atlas TI. So the manager effectiveness, manager role, food safety training. And there are a lot of things that are related. In our case, this is going to be different. It's going to be customer journey map, different levels, experience generator. Don't worry, don't be, don't be, um, 
be, 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 be calm because we are going to explain step by step how to create this and how to, to interpret this, okay? And once they have presented this information and explained the different elements that are, that are related or the relationship between the elements, what they do is to conclude and explain the implications. So this is an example that you can see, you can look uh, in Google Scholar, uh, you can look for this study if you want to read it, food safety practices and managers perception, a qualitative study in hospitality. This is, was published in the International Journal of Contemporary Hospitality Management in 2013. So this is the first example I wanted to show you just to, to see that uh, these kind of tools we use in class are also used in other contexts. And the second one is, was published in 2019, as you see, oh, yes, 2019, in the International Journal of Consumer Studies. In this case, the title of the study is Perception of Spanish Consumers Towards Environmentally Friendly Labeling in Food. So labeling means when you have something for example, a piece of fruit that is certified. It has a label, a label. Certified because it's organic, for example. So let's go to see how the perception is, or at least how they analyze the perception. And in the Astra, we can see in the uh, resume in Spanish, interesting ideas like, recently some food companies have developed labeling schemes to help inform their customers of the impact of a specific product has on the environment during its production. So the labeling is related to sustainable uh, elements. The main objective of this study is to uncover consumer's perception, to understand consumer perception and attitude toward these environmental label, labels and their impact on consumer purchase decisions. And they say a focus group approach has been taken due to, to its adequacy to explore beliefs, perceptions and experiences. Four focus group sessions took place with 30, uh, 36 participants in total. And they used, the data was analyzed by using Atlas DI. So let's go down and let's see a little bit this, the stat. So first of all, they start talking about labeling and they say, so in the food system, sustainability becomes a multidimensional and including food, sector, uh, including food safety and ethical aspects. They, they talk a little bit about labeling. Labeling has been, has been given an increasingly important role in achieving sustainability goals. So this is important to have the information in the level in, in, on the fruit or on the um, um, food uh, to, that inform uh, the level of sustainability of the product. They also speak about the case of the European Union Eco Label is also very curious since it has been recently awarded to thousands of different products across Europe. So it's quite current in the European Union. They have been doing this in the last uh, time. In addition, consumers are becoming more aware of the unintended negative impacts of food productions. So these levels are going to be related to the impact of food on environment. Given the limitations, and they explain a little bit, this part is called the um, literature review, and they go to the study itself. Given it the limitations, an appropriate approach toward understanding consumer perceptions and behavior when choosing food and the influence of the environmental and social aspects on the food purchasing would be to apply qualitative research technique. And they use some sites that uh, support this idea. Indeed, the main advantage of the uh, focus group is that they allow much more freedom of expression from the participants than other groups. In this study, focus group were used to explore the perceptions and attitudes toward whatever. So we can go to the what, we, what is called methodology. And they explain a little bit how the focus group wo was developed. At the beginning each of the groups, uh, of each of the groups, the researchers outlined it, they outlined the study purpose and introduce the presentation to explain the meaning of the concepts that, of the various la labels. And they gave them table one, I'm going to show, show you later the different labels that exist. The moderator started the discussion and they explained a little bit 
all particip participants receive a gift of five worth five euros uh, as an incentive for their participation. And they explain the data collection. Group methodology uh, is to promote interactive discussion um, on topic prompted by a moderator. So this is why they use it. In this study, we, for, we, there were four focus groups with 36 part participants. All the participants should be at least partially responsible for food purchasing in their household. So we don't know any, we don't want any person. We need a person that is in charge of buying the food for the, for the family or for the house. And it's very interesting, this group they have organized in the next, in the next um, page, methodological procedure use. And they organized this uh, chart that is very interesting, how they did the focus group, selection of questions, participants, development for sessions. And once they come here, video recordings, transcriptions, organizations in topics, Atlas TI, information, analysis of results, discussion. It's very, very interesting graph. That analysis, and they say, the video recording of the focus group were transcribed and made anonymous. The transcriptions were then edited for clarity and summarized by removing comments unrelated to the discussion. Well, the transcription, and they did something in the transcription. Then they used content analysis by using the data was initially processed and organized uh, into common sub subjects using Atlas TI. The ideas and concepts repeatedly mentioned during the session were classified into categories. This is what, what we call codification. In our case, we know the different variables, we are analyzing all the different steps and we classify the ideas into these steps. They also determine the frequency of mention, the number of times that each of the ideas are, um, are repeated. In this case, a I, I would personally give more detail on how many citations in the textual analysis, citation and memos, and also what, what is the code book, also so very important, and they don't give uh, the enough importance in this case. The code book, and that means the codes and the family of codes. And they say, this session present our findings in relation to four general themes. So their codes or the families are food purchase decision, social and environmental labels, information on labels and reasons for purchasing. And the themes are not mutually exclusive. So you, is this the same that happened in our studies? We can have a, 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 an idea that belongs to different codes. That is, for example, something that happened before the experience and also is related to uh, staff. This is the, the, the table. These are the different um, labels, the fair trade label, the CO2 free footprint, Rainforest Alliance, water, water footprint, and PLS. Three types of five, five types of, of uh, footprint uh, of labels that can be put into um, different uh, food. And now what they do is to analyze. They have divided the ideas into these five different uh, thematics, themes. And then what they do is to go one by one. Food purchase decision, they explain what in general people says, and afterwards what they do, well, this is the, the script of the, of the focus group. And what they do is to summarize these ideas in a table. This is the code book. This can be considered the code book. The sub themes, themes is what we call the, the um, codes, price, quality, brand, whatever. And the team is the family of codes. So we have sub themes and themes. And what they do, as I told you, how they summarize the information. What they do is to put the comments, well, the comments, or at least the, the codes, and they put the um, they calculate the um, relative uh, frequency of this code, this idea. One related to food purchase decision, social and environmental label, second thematic. The third one, or third, uh, fourth one, information and reason for purchase, willingness to pay, and certified labels. This is what we call 
death or revenge is very similar to what we call conceptual analysis. And finally, once they have analyzed all the information, they discuss the information. As you see, this study is not about the study, but I think it could be improved. There are many things we do in class that could improve this study quite a lot. So this is the thing for the future. Uh, you, you have more tools to understand these qualitative studies and to have in mind the different elements, the, 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 the important elements regarding this type of study. Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed the class. And in the next class, class we are going to see the organizational level, the visual uh, display that Atlas TI allows us when we have done previously a conceptual analysis. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next class.